Are you ready to make a phone call directly through a satellite with your unmodified smartphone? It's coming. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of fireside. That smokiness. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're going to be talking about making a phone call, a DTS phone call, a direct to satellite phone call at that. Using SpaceX Starlink, it's right around the corner, all right? It's getting closer by the day. And some news came out today. It was on, I was reading it on PC Magazine. I think it was the UK edition. I read all kinds of stuff. Anyways, I wanted to bring it to your attention just so you can see how things are moving forward. As I've said in the past, a lot of these cell phone companies, they really need to start worrying. Some of them are making like little changes and they're trying to iterate. Um, what they need to do is innovate because their iterations are just not going to work at this point. They're too far gone, in my personal opinion. Anyway, so I wanna get into some of this article with you, give you my commentary on it, what I think. And then once again, as always say, down below, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all this? Do you wanna be able to make a phone call with your like unmodified smartphone, whatever it is, a Google phone, some type of Android, or maybe a Apple phone, whatever? Um, like I said, it is here. It is definitely here. I would say before the end of the year, we're going to see it. Um, here in the US, it's gonna begin with T-Mobile, and uh, but there are other companies throughout the world that are also partnering with SpaceX Starlink. So anyways, before we get into this article, I wanna say that if you enjoy this content, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you, I appreciate it. Click this button over here so when I go live, when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. If you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thank you button, click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. If you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, they're free. Just for you being here, go to jcristina.com forward slash books. If you want more Starlink content, I put together a Starlink playlist just for you. Click right over here. And finally, if you're looking for a VPN, check out the folks over there at Pure VPN. They gave us a promo code, which is jcristina. If you use that at checkout, you're gonna get 15 additional percent off. Anyways, let's jump right into this article. I appreciate you hanging with me through all of the housekeeping. <laughs> SpaceX preps for global testing of the cellular Starlink system. The company asked the FCC for clearance to test the cellular Starlink technology in several other markets, including Australia, Canada, Japan, and New Zealand. SpaceX is asking for regulatory clearance to expand its testing for its cellular Starlink system outside of the US, including Canada, Australia, and Japan. The company has requested a special temporary authority from the FCC according to a new regulatory filing. The goal is to test the cellular Starlink technology outside of the U.S. for 180 days starting in May. So basically the rest of the year until December. Remember, December supposedly is that magic month when T-Mobile customers here in the U.S. will get this technology and will be able to start texting right from a satellite. Anyways, let's get back into this article. During the test, SpaceX will beam the internet connectivity from the company's direct to cell or DTC satellites to unmodified phones on the ground. In the US, SpaceX plans on delivering the broadband through T-Mobile, like I just said. But elsewhere, the company has struck partnerships with local carriers with the aim of using their licensed radio spectrum to send internet data to customers' phones. SpaceX has already reached deals with seven carriers, including Rogers Canada, Optus in Australia, and KDI in Japan. The company's FCC filing also notes it could expand the cellular Starlink testing to four other markets, including New Zealand, Chile, Peru, and Switzerland. In each country, though, it will also need to secure authorization from the relevant local administration before testing. This is what it said in the filing. 
Testing will likely continue until SpaceX has received commercial authority to deliver supplemental coverage from space from the commission and the relevant local administration. This is what SpaceX added in the FCC filing. Now, they always call it this supplemental coverage. It's almost a nice way to get around saying, listen, we are putting cellular towers in space. We are going to put out of business cell phone companies. We're not going to tell you that yet, but that's what's going to happen. So they're saying it's supplemental coverage, meaning that it's not going to be as fast. It won't be as um, widespread. It's supplemental. It's add on to the coverage that's currently out there. And that is the case at the OnStar, but I don't believe that it'll continue that way. I believe eventually it will take over the cell towers that we currently have terrestrial. And the reason being is you'll have thousands and thousands and thousands of towers right overhead, right? They won't have to create a new tower here terrestrially on the ground. It's expensive to do that. I mean, these satellites aren't cheap either. But according to Elon Musk, he's putting up a lot. And we'll get into that in just a second. It finalizes by saying, the request arrives two weeks after the company received FCC clearance to expand cellular Starlink testing in the US, including conducting trials statewide in California, Washington, Texas, and Hawaii. Over the next few months, SpaceX plans to launch as many as 840 840 new Starlink satellites outfitted with the DTC or the direct to sell capabilities. Once again, they have enode B's on those satellites. The enode B's basically act like a cell tower. Very cool. Very cool. T-Mobile customers can expect the cellular Starlink system to launch later this year, pending FCC approval. Initially, the technology will only support text messaging. Voice and data support will be expected next year. So they're moving forward. They're moving fast, all right? And seeing 840 satellites that are equipped with these E-Node Bs or these cell towers on board within the next few months is amazing. I mean, that is a lot of satellites. So if that happens, let's say in three months, 840, well, we have like what, six months or so left in the year. So they could technically have like 15, 16, 1700 new cell towers in outer space that are traveling at 17,000 miles per hour around the earth. That's just baffling to me. I mean, it's just amazing, right? And I think that's why a lot of these companies are starting to really shake in their boots, okay? I was reading another article, maybe I'll talk about it next week, but these, or a bunch of different cell companies are trying to come together to form like an alliance where they pool all of their spectrum, they pool their towers, they pool everything together, then each one gets a cut, basically. The writing's on the wall, all right? That's not gonna happen. Do you think Elon Musk is going to pool his Starlink Enode Bs up there, right? His cell towers with these people? No, it's just like a ploy. It's They're trying, they're just reaching for straws, all right? They're on the way out. And once again, instead of innovating, right? They're just simply iterating. They're seeing what they can do to hang on. They're just not gonna hang on, in my personal opinion. I mean, they're gonna be around for a bit, but I think once we see that magic number of like 43,000 Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit, and a good chunk of those 43,000 are basically cell towers. Yeah. I wanna know what you think. Would you be interested in using your unmodified cell phone to be able to make phone calls, surf the web, text a friend and not have to pay an internet service provider at all besides your Starlink? I think that would be cool. I think that would be amazing. I remember when I first started doing this 31 months ago or whatever, I said, I'm excited for one day seeing like a Pi phone, a Tesla phone, an Elon phone, whatever you want to call it, where you would be able to make calls using Starlink. And it's almost here, I feel, right? It's it's like right around the corner. I know some people will say, I already use my phone and Starlink to make phone calls, you know? 
using VoIP, right? Voice over IP. Yeah, that's different. We're talking about actually using a phone, let's say outside and making a call, right? Using a satellite, no cell service. You could be on the top of Mount Everest somewhere, right? And be able to make that phone call, just like if you had a true sat phone and an Iridium connection or something. So this is really powerful stuff. And like I said, I think these companies are really going to they're going to be out. I mean, I don't know how else to see it. Maybe you guys see it differently. I just don't see how they're going to be able to hang on once there is just thousands and thousands and thousands of these in low Earth orbit. The other thing that I heard the other day is not only would you be able to use these outdoors, but my understanding is you'll be able to use these indoors also and communicate with satellites under certain circumstances and right frequency. Obviously not through a metal roof probably, but a regular shingle roof or wood roof, whatever. Um, you can probably use this inside your home or your office, which would be unbelievable, right? So anyways, guys, what do you think? Down below, let's have this discussion. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.